Hello Internet, I just wanted to show you the second level I had built for our Gloomhaven campaign that my friends and I are running through. We are a five player campaign, so that's why you have five miniatures there. And this is the Barrow Lair level. So spoiler alert, if you don't want to know what's in the Barrow Lair, um, don't watch the video. Because I'm going to show what's in, what's in it, including all the miniatures that I use to replace the standees and, and the map layout and everything. So you've been warned. Okay, so first, let me show you, this is what the level actually looks like if you went to the map. Uh, and what you're going to now see is reverse orientation of this level. Just the heroes start on that map up top, but here, just as I've oriented this map here, the heroes on the bottom. So there you go. Alright, so first this is a Hearst Arts level um, build. So I'll back up now so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so there we go. There's the whole thing. And... Um, the walls are modular. They're Hearst Arts castings, like I said. Uh, so I build the walls just on wall segments alone. Uh, I paint them up using acrylic paints, and uh, the base is just a foam core. You know, not very pretty on the bottom, but no one looks at the bottom. But that way, since the floor pieces are just individual floor tiles, and they're not attached to any of the walls, for each new level we do, uh, where I want to use these pieces, I can rearrange and switch the mall models around, uh, the walls around, I mean. So if you watch the previous video I did on the first level, half of these walls were used there, and then I didn't have to cast as many on this new level. So the theory is in the long term, we can start playing all levels on, oops, on casts, and I don't have to build nearly, and paint nearly as much, because it is a lot of work to do some of this. Um, okay, now some of the models that I've used... Let's get in now close. Sorry, there it's... Okay, so in here we have, in addition to the heroes, uh, we have some 3D prints. So I have a Ender Creality 3 printer. Uh, this is a bear trap, I think, off of the Gloomha Gloomhaven page. Uh, there's some fantastic modelers out there who put up some really great stuff, so thank you to everyone on the, the Gloomhaven group of Thingiverse uh, for all your, your awesome work. Then the figures themselves... I have some Reaper Bones miniatures for the archers uh, that I've just rebased. And then the Scatter Terrain is just her starts casts or the barrels. I th one of the barrels is like a Dungeon Saga uh, barrel uh, from a Mantic game called Dungeon Saga. Okay, then we go into the boss room here. So you went to the first room. It's a bit closer. All right, I'm trying not to have a shaky camera this time. There. So we have the sarcophagus. Uh, these three are also off of Thingiverse. And then the monsters, you have two archers, which are elite archers. So when I have elites, I use, I try to find cooler models where I can. And these are off of Cool Mini, oh, put it down here, sorry. Cool Mini or Nots, a Song of Fire and Ice game, which I kickstarted. And uh, I've been painting them up slowly. And as I paint them, I find places to use them. And then this is one of the uh, mercenary leaders. Uh, and I forget his name, and I should know it because the show is pretty fun. Um, the Bolton guy. What a... Uh, the Bolton dude. Yeah, anyways, that's his model, uh, and that's what he looks like. I thought he worked really well for the boss commander. I did paint all these models, but I am not a professional painter, so they just they look good enough for me. But I apologize if uh, for those of you who are really good and can recognize where people are not so good. Uh, and then, you know, I put in some scatter terrain in the back, just kind of make it look like a lived-in section of, the, of the, the boss fight. And then, as you know, the boss jumps from... Um, you know, door to door, opening up the doors, and as he does that, all these uh, undead creatures come out. So, your standard undead living bones uh, is replaced by a bones miniature, uh, and then your elites are fatties from Zombicide Black Plague, which are fantastic looking models as well. So, uh, I use those in place of them, and then the terrain is some of these castings are, um, sorry, not castings. This is a 3D print of a casket here uh, that I just pulled off of Thingiverse as well. Uh, these bone piles came off of a company called Toad King Castings, and I used them when I played uh, Dungeon Saga from Mantic, and uh, we used those to replace the, the bone piles there because I 3D modeled that game too. So then all the other rooms as well have kind of the same flavor going on where I tried to make it look like just, you know, housing undead and bones and whatnot. More fatties. Uh, the chest also came off of Thingiverse from that same Gloomhaven group, and then it's kind of more the same running around. And uh, yes, if you count, there are more than six uh, living bone, uh, living corpses. I'm sorry, living corpses. 
uh, because I had more models to replace them with, so I did. Uh, other things I do to enhance our game, um, in addition to what's going on here, is I've 3D printed out these, so there's coins right there. So I've switched out all of our coin tokens for 3D prints. And then uh, I've also gone ahead and I showed off in the last video, I replaced all the summons with various models. So we still have those around when, whoops, when guys summon creatures or whatnot, allies to help them. I took, uh, this is not my idea, but I took their, the shop items and then I put them into this binder. So that way any shop item available for a Prosperity 1 group is visible. And if it's got the, if the space is empty, that means that all the characters have taken all the items out. And then for every other item that's not available, it's all face down. And that just goes all the way through. And then we also, in the back, have the levels that are available to us. And I'm trying not to show you the one we've, so we revealed a level. I don't want to show it to anyone because I know spoilers are a big thing. So as we reveal levels, oops, don't show you that. Uh, we'll flip them over and they can randomly pick a level. Okay. Um, and then I also 3D printed this cool case off Thingiverse as well. That's where I keep all the, the pieces. And these cases underneath is that the icon for the actual piece. I'm probably not going to get in there and see if there it is. So there's the icon. So you could actually organize it accordingly. And it fits all my stuff. So that... This is going to get shaky. That is what we played on just a couple days ago and I set it up to show it off before I move on to the next level. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know for the four of you that maybe watched this video. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, hope you enjoyed it.